Welcome to the second video within the typography section. We're going to look at aligning our text as well as paragraphs. So I have my name on the artboard. Now I'm going to select my type tool again and I'm going to draw a box. And then I'm just going to go to a website called Lorem Ipsum, which is text that doesn't have any words. It just looks like they're words, but it's just random letters. So we use this as filler text or placeholding text or dummy text to, um, to be able to showcase what our page would look like with content. So I now have a paragraph. I can change the characters just like I did with the title as well as under windows and then type you will find a paragraph panel as well which I can align text and we're all familiar with these types of alignment because it's newspaper where it fits to both ends which is called justified text so that's really nice so we only find that in um, the paragraph panel as well as we can indent the bit we can add a oof, I'm French I don't know what this is called in English I guess the top margin or an indent We can play with spacing between paragraphs. And uh, yeah, these are nice because these are universal settings. So it's going to apply to all your text. So right here at the bottom of my text area is a red plus sign. If I select that, it kind of changes my marker. So I just clicked on the plus sign. And what it does is, I'll show you, if I draw another box for text, it's going to fill the remaining text that wasn't able to fit into this box into the following box. This is super important for magazines, right? I could have my uh, columns aligned around images or all sorts of stuff that if I maybe make a correction later on or let's say up here I add a space you see it transfers to the other box so that's really um, that's really kind of important and cool to have some little tricks following you can also draw a text align a path so like a circle um, to do that, I would have to draw a circle. So let's say I take my ellipse tool, which is under my rectangle tool. And then I draw a circle. I now have the ability to type along that circle's circumference. I can make the text uh, larger. One really cool part about this feature is I can also kind of line it up along the circle to different degrees. And you're going to say oh, that doesn't really matter. But it does when you're making nice logos and stuff. Because Sometimes you want to be this precise. Example. Let's, uh, I'm going to make these all M's for my name. And then so a really basic example, <laughs> but, um, you know, you could get some nice designs with different different uh, options.
So not a very good example uh, in terms of how it looks. Possibly just change the font maybe. So yeah, you can do a lot with the paragraph panel to align things and uh, to start making dynamic layouts with a bit of text. So please play around with that. Um,